is going to face its first major test since entering the competition when it clashes on Friday night under lights against Fremantle. It promises to be a sellout already. They've sold something like 34,000 season tickets. Port Adelaide, as they were known, is of course a club with great tradition. And a man who epitomises that is one of, the, one of the club's legends. His name is Foss Williams. For more on that, this report from Jim Wilson. Just three points the difference with seconds remaining. Port tighten their defence to stem the on-rushing Blues. But there's the Hooter. Port take their 10th Premiership in 15 years, 12.880 to 12.577 and a cliffhanger finish. Port and state coach Foster Williams is chaired across the field by his players. Yet another Port triumph, but for Foss Williams, success came with the territory. His last flag came in 1965. But three decades on, Foss's wife Bonnie makes certain the Williams legend continues. In this part of the world, Foss is the heart and soul of Port Adelaide, or as it will be known in the AFL, Port Power. There are so many memories as he flicks through the old scrapbook, including nine premierships, six as captain coach. You've won nine flags with Port. Uh, some great photos here. And winning is part of the club's tradition. Oh yes, I mean, uh, to run second doesn't mean anything. In that, in uh, winning the ninth season, we played in 16 grand finals, and that meant we lost seven. Well, that's not good enough. But I mean, uh, we understood why we lost them. We we weren't good enough. We didn't have a team that was, you know, up to the standard for a, to win a grand final. But the ones that played in their grand finals and lost, there wasn't anybody that didn't give everything he possibly could. Port Power coach John Cale, who's won 10 premierships at Alberton, still refers to Foss as the coach. The 75-year-old has certainly left his mark on the club, and for that matter, the whole community. In their inaugural season, the choice for number one ticket holder was a formality. What does it mean to you to be number one ticket holder in such a historic season, in their debut season in, in the AFL? I think, you know, we've set it up over a long time, uh, this, you know, and, and uh, me being number one ticket holder, I think I'm only representative of uh, all the players that have played in the last 50 years. Really. That's the way it comes up to me. And, uh, the, you know, the fact that they, I do represent them, I'm talking for them, uh, that, uh, that the players won't let people down. Traditionally, we don't give in. Traditionally, we expect to win. And, you know, those sort of things uh, should come out uh, gradually as the team evolves over the next few years. The Port Icon was made a life member of the club in 1958 and has been recognised beyond his own backyard. The AFL acknowledging his contribution to football, inducting him into the Hall of Fame. But now Foss faces his toughest battle, a serious blood pressure disorder that restricts his movement. Still, he plans to make it to Footy Park on Friday night for Port's historic clash against the Dockers. Foss is fiercely proud of all his achievements, but above all else, he has a red-hot passion for Port and is a genuine football purist. I mean, it's going to be a, the culmination of a dream, isn't it? Oh, that's right. Well, I mean, everybody's worked very hard uh, to make certain that the Port power is in this, uh, you know, in, in the uh, AFL. And, you know, uh, to, to put it together... Uh, in one match is almost impossible but to put together over two or three seasons that means that you know everybody's starting to raise their head shout a bit and go on from there a man and his club the great boss williams and i i have a feeling on friday night there will not be a power failure Port Power up against Fremantle at Football Park. Uh, you can bet your life they will pack it out. There, there'll be a different crowd than the Adelaide Crows, but they absolutely love their football, and it promises to be a history-making night, a memorable night. Just check your local guides for details. That's Port Adelaide up against Fremantle in Port's first night. Back to the Hawthorne room, still pretty cool, calm and collected, so they should be after that second quarter. We'll take a break. Be back shortly with the second half.